All right. Good. Thank you. So, yeah, this is the four rules for uh, WFF. So, if uh, if P has a one proportional variable, so P Q R, standing alone. Sorry, sir. Why you yeah. didn't share your screen? I did not. Yes, you did not. Where is this? It keep recording. Share my screen. Where is my screen? There it is. Okay, can you see? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So the first rule. Okay. Say that a propositional variable standing alone, like P, Q, R, S, and so on, are WFF. So on itself. Okay. Second, if you put not, so if P is a WFF, then not P is also a WFF. Okay. Third rule is a compound. And these are the, the, the compound that you can use as WFF. Okay. So what is the compound? Uh, and or implies, right? Uh, by implication, uh, reverse implication, it is uh, from if Q, then P. So this symbol is not if P, then Q. The other way, also not if Q, then P. And then the last second row is not if and only if. Okay? And the last row there are the uh, sore, uh, no, not sore. Uh, nor and none. Nor and none. <clears throat> so, the symbol string of the three rules above, you can apply uh, finitely okay, using uh, these three rules. Then you can also create WFF. Yeah. So this is an example. So the truth value of WFF depending on the truth value of its variables. Right. <clears throat> so this is the... Uh, the way to see. So example here is the following formula WFF or not. Okay. So example not 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 three times not of R. Okay. So R on itself is WFF by rule one, right? Okay. So then what is that? Not 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 three times of R is again WFF okay, by three application of rule two. Okay. Next, how about this? Not R, but with a parenthesis. Is it WFF or not? Okay. The answer is it is not. Why? Why this is not WFF? Because of the bracket. So WFF is very uh, strict. Okay. Even with the bracket, you need to check. So. The bracket only introduced with the binary operator in rule three, not with the rule two, which is only uh, not, isn't it? So the WFS must be not R without the parenthesis. Clear, yeah? Next, how about this? Uh, this is WFF or not? Okay. So the answer is no. Why? Because must be one. Yeah. Either P or Q, not PQ. Okay. So two or more sentence letter can produce WFF yeah, only in combination with binary operator in rule three. Can you see the, the difference? Next. How about this? This is WFF or not? Well, the compound is WFF, part of rule three, right? But this is unofficial. Okay? If you want to do it officially, you must do it okay, 
with the bracket. Okay. So the with the bracket will become okay, the bracket if p then q. Is it clear? Hmm. How about this? WFF or not? Of course, right? So this is just uh, based on rule three. Yeah. So P and Q itself are WFF by rule one, right? So if P then Q is also WFF by rule three. Okay? So this is the official version, yeah. Next, how about this? Is this WFF or not? Okay, so if we look at this, P and Q itself is WFF by rule one, right? And then, so P, uh, if P then Q with the bracket is also uh, WFF by rule three, right? So and then, the not is WFF, right? When you add not there, then become WFF. Okay, how about this? Is this WFF or not? You look at this, okay? P itself is WFF, okay? And Q itself, WFF. R itself is also WFF, right? Okay? So, by rule one, right? P and Q, is WFF, right? So by rule three. So then P and Q implies R is WFF by application of, of rule three again, right? Next, how about this one? Is WFF or not? So P, Q, and R are WFF by rule one, but okay, the problem is the outer bracket. Yeah? The outer bracket is dropped. So the real, this is unofficially WFF. So officially, you must do it this way okay, with two brackets. This is this clear? Okay. How about this? Is it WFF or not? So, uh, the, uh, the answer is not. Why? Because P should not have bracket. The same with Q on itself should not have bracket. Okay. So, bracket matters. Okay. So, the correct uh, WFF should be a bracket if P then Q. How about this one? WFF or not? Hmm? So this is WFF because on itself P, Q, and R is WFF by rule one, right? And then not P is WFF by rule 2. And then Q and R is WFF by rule 3. Right? And then the whole things is WFF again by rule 3. Okay? How about this? Oh, this have no answer. <laughs> WFF or not? Yes or no? Why? Anyone can answer this? I think it's yes, WFF, because Q and R is WFF, my, mm -hmm. uh, not P is WFF. Mm -hmm. It is in bracket, not on the bracket P. Mm -hmm. oh. And it has not in the outside, so it's still WFF. Okay. I think so. Cool. This is WFF, right? How about this one? 
<laughs> this is difficult. So is this WFF or not? Um, I think it's not. Why? Yes, same, same. Because the bracket is useless if you put it like that. Which which bracket? And the the outer bracket. The outer bracket is the problem, yeah. Okay. So the correct one must be only uh, internal without the. Okay. So this is the WF. Okay. So how about this one? This is WFF or not? Yes. Sir. Yes. Why? Uh, because previously. Hmm. So P and P itself are uh, WFF by rule one, right? And then when you put a bracket, a P and P is WFF by rule two. Oh, by rule three, right? And then you put not application two times of rule two. Okay, eh? so I think that is uh, all about uh, the well-formed formulas. Okay, so the next one, our topic next meeting will be on... 17 or 18. Propositional logic. Okay. Propositional logic. Okay, let's do a propositional logic. You can go to Google Classroom and get the topic of propositional logic. So, in this lesson, we, we will discuss about valid and invalid form of propositional logic, okay? And you will prove the validity using truth table. Yeah, we have 15 minutes, so I'm, I guess we will continue this next week. Okay, so this is an example of valid argument form. Either P or Q. It is not the case that P does Q. So the okay. so I give you example of valid argument form. Either P or Q. It is not the case that P does Q. This is another valid argument form. Either P or it is not the case that Q. It is not the case that P that that does it is not the case that q is it the same as before no it's the same right no the difference is look this is not the case that q so this kind of argument okay so you need to write it down in the form. So how you will put in the form? You will write it this way. P or Q in WW, in WFF, okay? Comma is not P, right? And then does, so we will put does Q. We will write it that way. Okay, now this one also have meaning. Okay, if you put it into the form, you will have the meaning of this. P or Q, right? When you put comma here, what is the meaning? Comma mean N. N. Okay and not p okay so i 
put it in uh, WFF. And then does mean what? Does mean implies. Implies. Okay. So if you have a word like that, can you put it into a uh, formula? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. Okay, so how about this one? So you can annotate here. Can you put it into the form? Either P or it is not the case that Q. Or, yes, and then not Q. Okay, close it. You make it into what? WFF, right? Comma, not P. Does, okay, not Very good, very good. Okay, so the comma there also mean and does mean implies. Okay. Next, so let's clean this up. Okay, this is another valid argument form. Okay, so I already put there, right? So this form is called modus ponens. You need to memorize this. Oh, you don't like to memorize, I know. But uh, this is the form that so often used that you need to remember. Modus ponens, modus tollens, you need to, to remember this. Okay, Modus ponens, you will use again and again anyway. You will memorize by, by yourself in no time. Okay? If P, then Q. Then the second argument, the second premise is P. Does Q. Very easy, right? If P, then Q. Okay. P. Does Q. Of course, right? So, this kind of argument is called modus ponen. Next. Okay. The next one is called modus tollen. Okay. So... What is modus tollen? If P, then Q. The same as modus ponen first time. But the, the difference is, it's not the case then that Q. Then it is not the case that P. Okay, be careful, okay? The one that is not the case is the Q. That is the the consequence, then the implication is not P. Okay, so again, you need to memorize this. This is called modus tollen. So if it's like this, so the two error. If we put task with error, is it? Two arrow, which one? Yes. This one? With this and this. Oh. This can be changed to arrow, right? Correct. That is arrow. So that means you will write it this way. Eh? P, then Q, and not Q, right? And then, then, not P. Okay. So they are not just two arrow, but the... Uh, the bracket in the well-formed formula actually help, isn't it? Okay, so don't forget to put it into well-formed formula so that you can uh, make it clearer. Okay. Next. Okay. Is this valid? If P, then and Q, then R. It is not the case that R. Thus, it is not the case that P and Q. What is this? What is this? 
this is something. No, this is exactly the same as previous one. Look at it. Look at this argument compared to this argument. It's exactly the same. Can you see? This is modus tollen. Okay. Then this is also modus tollen. How do you know? Look at this. Eh? If P and Q. Oh, sorry. No clearance. So P and Q then R, right? And then comma is not the case that R. Okay, thus is not the case that. P and P and Q. So if you look at this, P and Q here is the same as earlier P. The R is the same as Q. Right? And then it's not the case that Q is not the case that the consequence. So it's the same here. It's not the case that R. And then the bottom here is not the case that P and Q is the same as, it's not the case that P. So the comp when you replace P become P and Q and then Q become R, is exactly modus tollen here. Can you see it? You still have energy? So, this is an example of invalid argument. Look at this. If P then Q, instead of making it as not Q, okay, you put it as Q, and then you say, does P. Is this correct or not? And why this is incorrect? You don't know why this is incorrect? It's if then, sir. Yeah, if, if then. If then, if P then Q is one direction. Okay? So if you put Q then P it's become two direction, right? So this is implication, not by implication. Right? So in this case, sometimes it is correct, sometimes it is not. Okay? So that's why this is invalid. So valid means always true. If sometimes true, sometimes false, that is invalid. Okay. So this is an example of the, the, the previous one. Okay. If P, then Q, then Q does, does P. This is example of valid. Look at this. If April precede May, and then April precede May, and May precede April, and the second premise is April precede May and May follow April. Okay, thus April precede May. So this is this is valid. You said yes, this is valid. Okay, but not always valid. Okay, you can find a counter example that will make it invalid. Can you? Can you make a counter example that make it invalid? So this is the a counter example. 
Okay, so if you are dancing on the moon, then you are alive. If P, then Q, right? You are alive. Thus, you are dancing on the moon. Is that correct? Okay, so this is a counter example. That if P then Q, Q does P. So the same argument in term, in terms of the form they are the same. Okay, but this time it is invalid. Therefore, that form of if P then Q, Q does P is invalid. Okay. So In this lesson, I want you to create the argument form in terms of formula. So, can you identify the argument form of these sentences? Yeah? Today is either Monday or Tuesday. Today is not Monday. Thus, today is Tuesday. So, I put it this way. Either P or Q. You know what is P? Today is Monday. What is Q? Today is Tuesday. Right? And then, today is not Monday. So, it is not the case that P. Okay? Thus, today is Tuesday. Thus, Q. So, either P or Q. Right? And, not P. Okay. Thus Q. Okay. Okay. So we will continue next week. Okay. So I promise you after the midterm, we will have more mathematics. Yeah? Well, logic is part of mathematics, you know. So, if you don't understand, uh, please read the slide again. Okay. And next week, we'll also uh, discuss about Boolean algebra. Okay. That's highly mathematic. So, of course, uh, the main part next week is your debate. So, if we, if we cannot finish your debate on time, then uh, the whole session of two hours will be your only debate no 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 lecture <laughs> okay so prepare well okay, thank you for uh, today this is very nice uh, you create a very nice debate <laughs> okay okay so see you next week then Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Next week you will have argument and counter argument. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. The okay, maximum sir. fifteen minutes. Okay, good. Uh, thank you, sir. Focus on focus on what they are doing today, okay? Because you already know their stand, right? So yeah. then focus. You can mention last week you said like this. If they they said something different, you can attack. Okay. Oh, sir, sir, right. Sir. And. We will go one by one, or just team A, team B, team A. Team ah, can we use the same sequence as today? Is it okay, or you want randomize again? Ah, it's it okay, Mister. It's it okay. I think. <laughs> what the is it? I okay? think one by one is good. One by one, you want one. What do you mean one by one? Uh, so after we just... A, after A, say the counter argument or argument. Uh, B can. Okay. B can 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 go go ahead. Yeah. Right. So then we need to limit, right? So because we have three groups. So I want to finish it in in one session, two hours. So 120 minutes divided by three. That means uh, 40 minutes 40. if you want to spend all. Right. So if you have argument 15 and 15, that's already 30. That you have uh, left is only 10. So 
Okay, anyway, if you can stop maximum 45 minutes per group, that's fine. So that you can give others chance. Otherwise, we will extend the, the debate the, the next, next week. Oh, no. So we will go one by one, yes, sir. Mm, you can go one by one. You, you can counter attack, no problem. Okay. Uh, look, try to use better word, okay? okay. This is semi-publication, meaning that uh, uh, it's unlisted in YouTube, but someone may have access to it, right? So. Yes, sir. I'm forget this is public. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So let's make it better next week. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I want to okay. ask, sir. Go, go, go. Uh, um, you said uh, we can go one by one, as mm -hmm. we said. Um, mm -hmm. How about um, the group that that not debating? Uh, I mean, outside group. A versus B, but C can C also ask question to A versus B. Mm, you can there? you can ask question because you are you will be the judge, right? Actually, because usually they will be the one who uh, choose themselves. So, right? So when B and C are debating, you can ask question. Okay. So if if next week cannot finish the debate, that's fine. We can extend the next next week. <laughs> okay good so see you next week then oh this is exciting yeah <laughs> uh at the end of the lesson i want to uh, at the end of the debate i want to be honest with me okay when you are pro whether you are really pro or you are actually cons <laughs> that's, that's i really keep cool. wondering on it <laughs> Okay. Very good. <clears throat> thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So. Until here.